How's it going ladies and gents, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This video is all about sideloading iPhone and iPad apps that aren't available for download on the Mac App Store. Now the reason I'm bringing this to your attention now is because Apple is putting the kibosh on being able to download unsupported apps like Instagram for instance, and it looks like Apple is about to enact the change that limits sideloading iPhone and iPad apps on your M1 Mac. So if you want to download an unsupported app, you better do so soon. Okay, so this video applies to any M1 powered Mac. That includes the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, and the Mac Mini. Now, like I was saying, Apple recently enacted a change that limits the ability to sideload iPhone and iPad apps that aren't available on the Mac App Store for download. And that includes apps like TikTok and Instagram. Now the good news is that Apple actually reverted the server side change that limits sideloading. So you have a little window of time right now if you wish to sideload an app that isn't available for download on the Mac App Store. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. But like I was saying, if there's an app like Instagram, for instance, that you want to run, it's important that you take action right now before Apple flips the switch. Because once it does, you're no longer gonna be able to sideload apps and this is the error that you're going to get when trying to install one of those unsupported applications. It's gonna say unable to install. This application cannot be installed because the developer did not intend it to run on the M1 Mac. And unfortunately, it's unlikely that there will be a workaround in the future for this because Apple is using DRM protections. So again, if there's an app that isn't on the Mac App Store that you wish to sideload, go ahead and take these steps now. Now let me load up the Mac App Store and show you why I choose to do this for Instagram. So when I go and search for Instagram on the Mac App Store and I click where it says iPhone and iPad apps, look, there is no Instagram app available or at least the official Instagram app because the developer, in this case Facebook, has not opted in Instagram to run on the M1 Mac. Now that could change in the future, but given the fact that, you know, you still don't have an iPad app for Instagram, I'm certainly not holding my breath. Now let me show you how to sideload an iPhone or an iPad app that is not available for download on the Mac App Store. In this case, I'm gonna do Instagram. So the first thing you wanna do is download iMazing. I'll have the link down below in the description. So we're gonna do that right now. And we should be downloaded now. So once the download is complete, we'll go ahead and mount the DMG. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and drag the iMazing application to the applications folder like that. And there we go. So now it's just a matter of launching iMazing on our M1 Mac, in this case, my Mac mini. All right, so we're gonna go to the launch pad and it should appear, there we go, iMazing. Let's go ahead and click on that and then select open. Now you don't have to purchase iMazing to make this work. However, I do think it's a great app and worth it. Just go ahead and click continue trial though. And then we're gonna click configurator in the menu bar and select preview iMazing configurator edition. All right, and then click where it says preview. And now click where it says apps. And then enter your Apple ID and password. Now if you have two-factor authentication enabled, you're going to need to authenticate using the uh, six digit code that Apple gives you. So you're gonna allow there and go ahead and put in the code. Alrighty, and then continue. All right, so once we're logged in, we're gonna click add from app store and then just search for the app you wanna sideload. In this case, Instagram, or you could put in TikTok or whatever app you want to sideload, you can do that. So there's Instagram, the official app. Just click the download button. And once that finishes downloading, you can click the done button. All right, so let's go ahead and click done. And there is Instagram. So now you want to right click and select export IPA. And then you wanna select your desktop. All right, so it exported the IPA file to the desktop. You can go ahead and close iMazing. We're done with iMazing. Now we need to double click on the IPA file for Instagram. And it's installing Instagram just like that. And there is our applications folder with Instagram. 
Now you may want to keep the IPA file around to reinstall it later if you need to do so. In this case, I'm just going to delete it for this example. All right, so now let's go ahead and launch Instagram. And there we go. You can see it loads up just like an iPhone app. It even has keychain access. So we're going to go ahead and log in with my account and go ahead and authenticate with my six digit code, confirm. And there we go. We are logged in to Instagram right here on our Mac mini powered by the M1 Apple Silicon. So you can use your mouse to go ahead and navigate around the Instagram interface. I'm just using Instagram in this case as an example. There are lots of apps that you may want to sideload that aren't available for download on the Mac App Store. So this isn't about Instagram per se, but this is about the ability to sideload unsupported apps. So of course, this isn't something new. The ability to sideload has been around since the, since the M1 Max launch, but the motivation behind this tutorial, really the reason why I made this PSA is because it is imminent. Apple appears to be putting the kibosh on the ability to sideload unsupported apps. So for me, someone who's been looking for a, a decent way to interact with Instagram and interface with Instagram on the Mac, this is my preferred way to interface with Instagram. I mean, of course there's Instagram.com, but I definitely prefer using the app, even if it isn't completely optimized for the Mac. Now, the second time you run iAmazing, the process is just slightly different. You're still going to go and continue your trial, but you'll notice that the menu bar options have changed a little bit. So you want to go to configurator and now you can go directly to the library and directly to apps. So you click that and then you just go ahead and click where it says preview and it takes you directly to your apps just like that. So just something to keep in mind if you're running this multiple times over. You can also delete the Instagram download if you wish to do so. You can go ahead and click yes and close out of iMazing. And of course you can also uninstall any apps that you install simply by holding the option key on your keyboard and clicking the little X to delete. Now, unfortunately to update these apps, you actually have to reinstall the IPA to the latest version, which won't be possible once Apple goes ahead and implements its DRM. So it's definitely not the perfect solution. The perfect solution would be for Facebook to enable Instagram access or for any of these other application developers to enable access on M1 flavored Macs. But this is a nice sort of workaround in the meantime, but you better act fast. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section and tell me what apps will you be sideloading as well? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac.